They're going to have a golden bachelor. Anybody who watches the show has been seeing at the end of every episode, they do a little tag and they say, if you know somebody uh, who's, I don't think they say getting on in years. It's not very flattering. I don't remember what they say. If you know somebody who's over the age of something uh, mm -hmm. or in their twilight years, have them apply to Bachelor and we're doing a new show for older people. And everybody's been wondering what that show is going to be because it's kind of mysterious and why they would want to do it. But yeah, they're going to have something called the, the Golden Bachelor and it's going to be a bunch of old people. And there's going to oh. be a bunch of women living in the house. And then there's going to be a golden man somewhere who's going to come in and he's going to <laughs> date these old women. <laughs> Nobody wants to watch that. You don't think that's going to be popular with the ratings? No. Why, why don't they want to watch it? Why, why is that any different than The Young Bachelor where everyone's young and sexy? What's different at all about old people, John? Human beings. Doesn't Continue. matter what country they're in, doesn't matter what culture it is, there are three parts of the brain, there are molecules that fire off in the brain as to whether or not someone is attractive. And one of the, one of the first things is youth. Youth is the first thing people look for for attractiveness. And there's a symmetric uh, face, and then it goes into um, other sort of, there's only three of them. So interconnected regions include facial attractiveness, uh, youth, um, and then um, there's uh, averageness in face and body proportion, facial colors and textures and things like that. It's universal. It doesn't matter. So it's, even it's in the brain. People don't want to see old people making out they don't want to see old people. No, no, no. But, uh, Martha Stewart, she's on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Paul yeah, Newman. How's it, how are sales going on that? How are sales sell? going on that? Well, it doesn't matter what sales are. She's there. She's got their grandma stuff showing. Everybody's <sighs> behind it, I guess. Paul Newman's a good-looking older guy. You got to admit. Silver Fox. I think if Paul Was. Newman walks in on The Golden Bachelor, I'd watch that. Well, everybody would, because he'd have to come back from the dead to be on the show. <laughs> You're right there. Yeah, it'd be a miracle. Yeah, he, he knows his agent's not getting many calls recently. Paul, everybody thinks you're dead. Um, I don't care. I I'll go on The Bachelor, Golden Bachelor. You you would watch it, because you obviously just mindlessly watch these shows. No, but do you no, think no. people want to watch, watch Do you think people want to watch old people <laughs> making out? No, I don't think they want to watch it. I think they'll be amused by it. It's a novelty. The key to enjoying Bachelor is a chilled bottle of white wine. If you can drink that while you're watching it, the show gets progressively better as the night goes on. And by the midpoint of the show, you're having a great time. You're fully bought in. You doing a Chardonnay or, or what are you doing? I there? usually do Seven, a Sauvignon Blanc. Seven Blanc? Yep. Seven Blanc. Seven yeah. Blanc. Okay. I put a little ice in it, too. I like it really cold. <laughs> You are so. You know what? You are just tempting fate. Yeah. You, look at Andrew. He's got the pen Andrew, out ready to go. Put me yes, in the box. Yes, he does. <laughs> yeah, not the box. Oh, I'm sorry, out. the book. Yeah, put me in the book. Seven Blanc with ice in it. <laughs> Is it like hockey, where it's not? He doesn't have to leave the whole show, but there's like the next segment, first Penalty two minutes. Box. Yeah, he gets to sit in there. I like it. I, you know what? Take Jacob. Take that little thing. Mark ah. it up. Put Jake. Take that one thing off for Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, we'll be doing the penalty box for Jake. Just lock my mic for the next segment. <laughs> yeah. yes. You'd be in there and banging your stick against the plexiglass. Anybody, <laughs> anybody's watching on the cam right now. John has handed me a dunce cap. <laughs> that and a, and a nice chilled glass of Sauvignon Blanc <laughs> with ice cubes. <laughs> <laughs> with ice cubes rattling around in it. Clinky, clinky.